Kelly, along with Dale Bellis, the co-founder and executive director of Liberty Healthshare. And our guest on this segment is Jan Helfeld with Huntington News. We're going to talk about repeal and replace of Obamacare. First, Jan, welcome to Healthshare Radio. Thank you very much. I appreciate the uh, invite. So we've certainly been talking here a lot at CPAC about repeal and replace. Is there such a thing as repeal and replace, or is it just repeal? Well, I think that what we should do is uh, focus on the principles that Obamacare is violating, which is that it's ignoring the right of American citizens to decide what kind of health care to have, how much to spend, with who, whether they should have insurance or not insurance. We got, we got to start with that. and I. That is such an egregious violation of our rights as free citizens that we need to repeal it. Now, I think if you introduce uh, systems that are based on free choice, on respecting the freedom of the consumer to decide what he wants, what he doesn't want, and eliminate the restrictions to the competition that should be going on between insurance agencies and also between doctors and and medicines. Well, you are As, speaking our language. Sure, yeah, absolutely. Give me some specifics, Jan. What, what would be some of the particulars that would really enhance freedom of choice uh, and opportunity in healthcare? Well, one is talking a lot about is the fact that you know. Insurance companies have to be able to go wherever they want. But why do they have to only be in one state or they have to be uh, licensed or whatever? I don't see the point in it. The same with the medicines, the same with the doctors. In fact, this whole business comes from way back when Nixon imposed price control, where you couldn't raise salaries. So in order to give a benefit to us to an employee, you offered it health care. And right. that wasn't done. And so that's how we got into this mess where yeah, before the patient had a relationship with the doctor the way it should be. The doctor cared about what the patient thought. The, the patient was the doctor's customer. Yeah. They had a, a mutually beneficial relationship. And the doctors, if you all remember, because you look old enough like me to remember, the doctors gave charity when it was needed. They were, they were good people. Right. They were, they took care of people that were in need if they didn't have the money or they couldn't pay immediately or whatever. This is the way it should be. There's a lot of ruckus going on here. We're here since oh dear. 2017, so there's a lot of noise going on here. Um, you guys didn't take offense about the age thing, right? Uh, no, well, I, I, I wouldn't. No, because I remember those days. You remember. <laughs> I remember the days when, when doctors would make house calls. That's what I remember. <laughs> Absolutely. Man. Um, talk, about, talk about your work with, with the Huntington News as far as how deeply involved in healthcare you are. Well, it's just one more of those issues that we think is an e example of an egregious violation of our rights. And we want to get rid of it. And it has so many corrupting effects because people are getting used to getting free benefits. Then they're like addicted to not paying for what they need in life and not checking prices and not doing what a smart consumer w would want to do. Uh, that fascinates me, Jan. I, ho I hold that same opinion. In your view, however, uh, what is it that prevents in our current arrangement the, the patient truly engaging in that kind of customer relationship? What, what's the barrier? What, what, what prevents us from having that kind of system? Well, I was touching on that just a moment ago, which is the whole 
category, the whole business of healthcare has been insurerized. When you and me were being treated by a doctor, it was a direct relationship. We didn't feel we had to have insurance for everything. Right. And so we didn't have that absolute good relationship between a customer and the provider because we, we had freedom and, and now we don't have freedom and we have all the bad consequences of not having freedom. Now, what do you think about medical cost sharing that we do here at Liberty Health Share? Medical cost sharing? Yes. I'm not 